welcome to divine lotus tarot we're gonna do like a freestyle reading um i just simply ask god and the universe you know to just let me know what zodiac sign um needs to get a message um and let's see what the message is for them so the zodiac sign that got selected is leo so those of you with significant placements of leo in your birth chart um, this message is for you all okay I feel it's more of like a confirmation for a lot of you because it kind of seems from the energy that I'm picking up from what um, the overall general message is is essentially some of you are waiting um, because you kind of feel like you're up in your head about a situation um, when it comes to the next move you're gonna make um, in regards to a relationship when it comes to following pursuing your dreams for some of you this could be like career and i'm hearing like a career change um for a lot of you this definitely has to do with your sense of um being more open with your spiritual beliefs okay um essentially this would be for those of you where maybe you more so like hide the fact that you're more spiritual than religious or that you are are just spiritual or have an interest in spirituality in general so I feel like a lot of you this is gonna this is your confirmation um, in regards to that either pursuing a career in this field yourself or you know making that full-fledged um, decision to move forward with exploring or just you know letting other people know or just being more open you know open and allowing yourself to be who you truly are authentically you you know and embracing outwardly um your your sense of being in tune with whatever spiritual practices that this is that you are um, interested in or that you have been um practicing like all along anyways but just maybe a lot of people are not aware of this i do see a lot of conflict and stress that has been around you about this because i feel like for some of you you feel like it's taboo okay i'm getting like a very strong taboo energy now for those of you where this is um love related because I, I am picking that energy up as well too i feel that this could be pertaining to another individual who you have very strong um I'm hearing ties so you could have very strong ties to this individual and um, you're very intensely deeply passionate and attracted to this individual and I feel like a lot of you you've kind of been like repressing your feelings your emotions and trying to just push it down and trying to do everything in your willpower to just avoid and I'm hearing negate like negate your feelings negate or own up to the fact that you constantly think about this individual um, like throughout the day um I, f I see a lot of you as well too trying to really like hone in and focus on like your finances or your career to like keep yourself distracted but i do see this person being very like relevant on your mind a lot i feel like you watch this person a lot a lot of you um for some of you the thing is i do see that this could be an individual who is like a mystic a spiritualist they could be a psychic they could be a medium you know someone who is in that realm or feel so for some of you this is something that is not something that you may be familiar with um as far as i guess maybe being interested or being involved with someone who is maybe so different than you in your belief system because i'm also seeing the energy that some of you could be very more traditional with your beliefs and um a whole lot more religious so you could have like a more set religious type of uh, belief system or practices or principles that you subscribe to and this individual is very different because their beliefs um, are more spiritual based. So it's, it's not necessarily um, maybe it's, it's not a set, maybe widely accepted or there's some type of taboo connotation around maybe what this individual does. Um, and maybe it's also just a sense of just ignorance because maybe you are not aware of the ins and out of this person's actual specific beliefs 
practices, values, and things of that nature. Um, it could just be whatever this person is practicing could be looked at as taboo in general, um, or maybe just in conflict to what you have been brought up and being and been raised um, to believe, to know, to think, um, and what you have been told, what you know to practice and whatnot. So I, I see some differences in between that as well too for some of you as well too i do see i'm hearing that you're in a loveless marriage so for some of you you're in a loveless marriage and i'm getting that some of you want to break free now for some of you this could be the fact that there is another individual who you are very much attracted to um but this person is totally different than maybe the individuals you have been told to date um that you have been raised that your family has um i'm hearing selected for you so, so for some of you you know you may have like um a background where you have like arranged marriages or your family could just be very much involved in the type of individuals that you go for because it may be a situation where your family gets to pick who you date or you highly consider your family's opinions um, or perspectives about who you date because it boils down to who is allowed to be accepted in your family or not like does this individual fit do they make us look good do they subscribe to the same um maybe for some of you all like religious practices that you do so maybe some of you it's been heavily around like either like your cultural beliefs or like your religious beliefs um with your family having a very strong opinion a very strong say so in who you get to date now if they're not outwardly doing this for some of you um it could just be a sense where you just are always very strongly considering like are your family or your friends going to like whoever you're with because i feel like that matters a lot to some of you you know you maybe more than what you would like to admit highly are influenced by the individuals who you spend a great deal of time with you know your family your friends maybe even some of your co-workers as well too so I feel like a lot of you um and this could be the world as well too so this this could be like society's beliefs um as well too like you're very you're very influenced strongly by the opinions of others around you about who you should be with and who who is I'm, I'm getting just like ideal for you but it doesn't necessarily match like your personal passion and your interest so I'm seeing a conflict of interest as well here too for some of you because maybe you have been marrying or dating or, or going after individuals that don't necessarily align with you because you're trying to please other people's um, checklists of what is suitable and what is not suitable when that might not necessarily align with your own personal preferences right so I'm not going to make this too long because it seems very clear cut and straight to the point I just feel like overall um, Leo this is your validation this is your confirmation that you are being called to stand up for your own beliefs you're being called to you know um, go after what you want what you truly desire you see things very clearly you know what it is that you want i feel like a lot of you you've been avoiding and resisting the very thing that a lot of you have asked for um a lot of you um have interest in and maybe it did not come wrapped in the package that you thought that you were um gonna get it right maybe it's something a little bit different but it's a lot of bit of what you have asked for um I feel for a lot of you you've prayed for this this position you've prayed to know your gifts talents and abilities you've prayed for a specific type of uh, ideal soulmate to come into your life and I feel like your prayers have been answered it just may not have been in the the like I said packaging or the image or maybe the profession that you thought it was going to be so this more so is just like validation or confirmation once again if this is a dream if there's a dream job or a dream anything that you have been wanting to go after you're being advised to go after it like you have the blessing of god you have the blessing of the universe to pursue it because it makes you feel good right um if there is a person 
that you are interested in um for those of you where you're single i feel like yeah you definitely are being you know given the green light like this is the person that you've prayed for even for those of you who, where you might be in a predicament where you're already in a relationship that you don't want to be in anymore this is still the person that you have prayed for you would need to take the proper you know measures to do what you need to do if you're going to follow through and move forward with that but yes this is just confirmation that yes this is the individual that you have prayed for um and for those of you where you have been praying for like reveal your what you're supposed to do your career um what it what you know what gifts or talents or what do you bring to the world what do you bring to the table you're being confirmed and validated that for a lot of you yes it is um the spiritual path you know there, there there's a spiritual path there's spiritual gifts that you have that you are being in uh that you're being nudged to share with the world because the <laughs> what you bring to the table is going to be special it's going to be unique and um i feel like it's something that you are interested in um and that you would bring something very unique and different you know um if if it's a fear of other people doing the same thing that you do if it's fear of what other people are going to think about what you're doing if it's just a fear of you just did not believe that this was the route that you were supposed to be taking you know in in route to get to the career or the goals or the dreams that you you know the type of lifestyle that you thought you were gonna have but yeah i'm i'm being advised to let y'all know this this is it this is this is it for a lot of you you know it's really up to you okay um I feel you have something, like I said, very unique, very special to offer um, this individual that you're interested in. The two of you are soulmates. You're supposed to come into union with each other. So you would need to make the an, a first move and make the take the initiative to reach out to this individual. Um, for others of you, yeah, you're meant to be in a position where you are um, sharing your gifts with the world. Um, especially those of you who like i said have uh i'm hearing latent so latent uh gifts talents and abilities okay and there will be a road and a route that you can cultivate specifically for you um that will set you apart okay so you don't need to worry about like the competition or things of that nature i feel like it's just like embracing your own natural unique abilities and moving along and following that um d don't try to set yourself to a mode or copy someone else's you need to continue to um just embrace and align with what your path is for you and that's going to just be the best advice um that'll help you along this journey in this path for those of you who are actually going to embrace and move forward with following your heart and going after that dream man that dream woman going after that just that dream in general or that the, the dream career okay um so that's pretty much that i hope this helps for any of you who are looking for the confirmation um it's a blessing to be able to be in a position to give individuals messages like this that just kind of reaffirm or, or validate um things that they have been worried about so hopefully this reaches you all with love who needed to hear this and i hope you have an amazing and wonderful day be blessed